This is how to work with the color guide panel in Adobe Illustrator. When you're in Adobe Illustrator, a lot of the times you want to adjust your colors and maybe you want to adjust them according to certain aspects or characteristics of the color. So let's say we pick out a color right now. Let's say we pick out something yellow, goldish. We click OK. Now, if you go to Window and you go down to Color Guide, that's if it's not selected, you'll notice that in your right hand panel area, you'll have the Color Guide window. Now, when you click the color, you'll notice that underneath it, you have some options. Now, these options are currently shades and tints. So, the color you currently have is the color in the middle. The color to the farthest left is the, the darkest shade of that actual color. And the color to the farthest right is the lightest tint. So, shades and tints. But if you go into the drop down option box, you can select, instead of shades and tints, you can go to warm or cool. And of course, you know, cooler is more of a bluish hue and warmer is more of a red hue. So your color will be in the middle, but to the left in the warm area, it adds more red. So you'll notice that it begins to appear orange. And if it goes to the right, to the blue, it begins to appear more blue. They add more blue to it to become cool. So we click in our drop down option again, and we have vivid and muted. Anybody who knows vivid and muted, it just means saturated or unsaturated. So it's gonna look murky or it's gonna look really colorful. It's how much of the actual color you have in it. So we go here and we have yellow. More vivid, vivid we go, uh, we'll actually notice that it gets more yellow to the right. And if we go more muted, it's more murky, more washed out, more white to the left. And these are your options. So you have show tints and shades, show warm and cool, and show vivid and muted. Now, if you wanna click color guide options, you'll notice that you can change the amount of steps. Now the steps mean how many steps on each side of your color you're gonna have options for. So in the muted vivid and the tints and shades, you'll notice that if you increase this and we pay attention to our color guide, the more we add, the more colors will come on the right and left side according to this steps number of our main color that we selected. And underneath in variation, we can change how the variation of those colors is in terms of how muted or how vivid it actually goes. So if you look, as we drag this slider, you'll notice that the less variation, the more consistent the actual color looks, and there aren't really that many differences between each one, but uh, the more we go, as you notice, we'll change it. It'll actually show more of a muted tone and more of a vivid tone. And that's how you work with Color Guide in Adobe Illustrator.